Hello, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe and staying healthy. So today is going to be quite a special video. I'm actually vlogging from an airport terminal right now and um, I'm on my way home for Easter. So I'm really, really excited about that. And I just wanted to take you guys along on the journey. I actually thought I would start vlogging yesterday with like the packing and buying the last minute stuff that I had to get but um, it's been so go 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 these past um, few days and definitely even more so in the past few hours so I packed last night and then I weighed my bags this morning and I was already overweight before I had packed like my own clothes so I then had to um, repack my bags this morning and um, just make sure that everything was within the weight limit that I had. So yeah, now I'm finally checked in and I am ready to board. Um, right now it's, uh, okay, I can't tell what time it is, but then my boarding time is at 10.45. Um, I just need to film this intro, then go board. I should have like five minutes left or so, yeah. So I'm just, I'm really excited about going home and seeing my husband, seeing my baby, seeing my mom. I'm just, I'm excited to see the whole family, my nieces and like just everyone.
first family road trip and we're on our way to visit my in-laws we've got one fussy baby sitting in the corner she's completely over this trip then we've got one chauffeur daddy slash husband in the front <laughs> and then of course we've got me on the camera and mommy duties in the back yeah yeah it's really hot but <laughs> It's okay, Mama. Okay, let me take off your dress. Good morning, Naughty One. What are you saying? Hello. What's up? Oh, baby's gonna stand. Good girl. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Good morning. Uh oh. Are you turning Gogo's house upside down? Hmm? Hey. Is that what you're doing? what I think was quite a short and uneventful vlog. I was really caught up in the moment and I was just trying to enjoy as much of the time I had with my loved ones as I could. So just to give you a bit of background on how this entire trip even happened, I went on block study leave on the 29th of March and that was just in time for Easter. So I booked my ticket and got ready to go home. I left for Zim on the 2nd of April, which was Easter Friday. And then I stayed until the 9th of April. That's when I came back to South Africa. My husband and my nieces picked me up from the airport and they were actually getting so restless because they got there at one o'clock when we were supposed to arrive, but our plane took off late to begin with. And then after we got to Zim, there were these forms that we're supposed to submit for port health assessments. The ones with the questions on any symptoms you're feeling and where you've traveled to in the past seven days, I think. So um, that took quite a while to submit, almost an hour and a half. Actually grabbing my bag and getting my passport stamped, that only took 10 minutes. It was so quick. Long story short, they got there at 1 and we only left the airport at 3 p.m. After we dropped them off, we went home and I was so anxious about that part of the trip because, you know, I hadn't seen my daughter since she was five and a half months and she was 11 months old at this point. So in my personal spiraling, I was thinking she'll take one look at me and just freak out and start screaming and only want her grandma. But the first encounter was more like, hmm... You look interesting. I could play with you, but you're not really scaring me, you know, that kind of vibe, which is kind of the best that I could have hoped for, considering to some extent she didn't know who I was. So the amazing thing is about halfway through my stay, she actually started to really warm up to me and to some extent cling to me because when I would leave the room, sometimes she would cry for me or she would just call and just follow me. I was just really happy that she responded that way to me. So because I was on study leave, I still had to wake up and do some studying. So in the morning, I would get up early and do one paper and just leave it at that. Spend the whole day just with my family and, you know, bonding, having a good time, being present, being in the moment. So during the working week, which was quite short because Monday was a holiday and Friday I had to come back to South Africa, 
I had quite a lot of errands that I ran with my husband. So that was Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. On Tuesday, we spent the day in town handling quite a few things. I had some issues to sort out at the bank and that kind of stuff. So we did that and then we also got Zara a high chair and then as you saw in the vlog, we just goofed around with it and you know, we're probably more excited about it than she was and she was thinking, mm, maybe these people have lost it because you know, <laughs> we're genuinely so happy to push her around the passage and you know, we love the simple things in life. <laughs> so it, it was just so much fun for us to just do that and just be together as the three of us. Wednesday was no different. There was a lot more to be done, fingerprints to be taken for police clearances and that kind of stuff. Then in the afternoon, we went back home, picked up Sarah, then we went to Zimplaz to see my in-laws. I'd like to say it's about 200 k's from Harare, but I'm not 100% sure. And there's a small stretch of dust road and you know Zara was getting very irritated by it because it was quite hot and we couldn't open the windows because it was very dusty in that road so she then started crying and it was a whole thing then we had to pull over and then I took off her dress and then she was just chilling in her diaper until we got back to the tarred road so this was actually the second time that my in-laws saw Zara and we just thought that it was important for them to be able to spend that one-on-one -on -one time with their grandchild. So we did that and they were very happy actually to see her and to see us and to spend that time with us even though it was just a one-night sleepover type of thing. It was also our first time being alone with Zara, if that makes sense. She hadn't spent the night away from her grandma since October when she, before that, she used to spend the night with me every single day. So when I left, she then started spending every night with my mother, who's her grandma. So yeah, she when she started knowing faces and knowing things, she knew grandma. So I was thinking she would freak out when we were just the three of us. But the funny thing is she fell asleep in grandma's arms in some flats. And then um, that was at around eight. I gave her a bottle at nine and then I put her down to sleep. She only woke up at 6 a.m. and she was just happy. She didn't wake up and start screaming about her grandma not being there, which was a good thing. I was just happy that she didn't freak out and that everything went smoothly. So when we got back to Harare on Thursday morning, the first thing we did was to drop off Sara with my mom. And then we went to town so that I could get my COVID test. And then we had to round up the last few errands that we had. So we then went back home and I started to pack for my trip back here. And packing for the return trip wasn't necessarily easy like the way it normally is. Because at the same time, I'm kind of moving my life from Zim to here. So I had to go through all my clothes, all my stuff that I left behind and try to separate the stuff that I'm going to need A for winter and anything else that I don't necessarily want to rebuy in South Africa. So I had to pack that, pack away everything I'm leaving behind and leave it as neat as I found it. And then make sure that the bags I've packed are less than 23 kgs each. So it was quite a mission getting it all done and getting it together. That was basically my whole trip back home. I had such a lovely time and my heart was so full. And when I came back, I had so much energy to put into my actual studies. I literally got into study boot camp. I did nothing but study. Like I even asked my brother to hold fort in terms of cooking, cleaning, anything that requires any type of effort. And he definitely came through. So I, I did nothing but study in that time when I got back. And I'm, I'm really happy with how things turned out. So yeah, that's my trip back home. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.